NASA thinks there's a way to get to Mars in three days. The distance between Earth and the Moon is 384,400 kilometers. The distance between Earth and Mars is 54.6 million kilometers. We've achieved amazing things by using chemical rockets to place satellites in orbit, land people on the Moon, and place rovers on the surface of Mars We've even used ion drives to reach destinations further afield in our solar system. But reaching other stars or reducing our travel time to Mars or other planets will require another method of travel, one that can approach relativistic speeds. We can ex execute missions to Mars, but it takes several months for a vehicle to reach the red planet. Even then, those missions have to be launched during the most optimal launch windows, which only occur every two years. But the minds of the NASA crews, the NASA scientists, never stop thinking about this problem. And now Dr. Philip Lubin, physics professor at the University of California, Santa Barbara, may have come up with something. Photonic propulsion, which he thinks could reduce the time travel from Earth to Mars to only three days for a 100 kilogram craft. A system is called Deep In or Directed Propulsion for Interstellar Exploration. The general idea is that we have achieved relativistic speeds in the laboratory, but have not taken that technology, which is electromagnetic in nature rather than chemical, and use it outside of the laboratory. In short, we can propel individual particles to near light speed inside particle accelerators, but have not expanded that technology to the macro level. Directed energy propulsion differs from rocket technology in a fundamental way. The propulsion system stays at home and the craft does not carry any fuel or propellant. Instead, the craft would carry a system of reflectors, which would be stuck with an aimed stream of photons propelling the craft forward. And the whole system is modular and scalable. If that's not tantalizing enough, the system can also be used to deflect hazardous space debris and to detect other technological civilizations. As talked about in this paper, detecting these types of systems in use by other civilizations may be our best hope for discovering those civilizations. There is a roadmap for using the system, and it starts small. At first, deep in would be used to launch small cube satellites. The feedback from this phase would then inform the next step, which would be to test a unit for defending the International Space Station from space debris. From then, the systems would meet goals of increasing complexity, from launching satellites to LEO, that's low Earth orbit, and GEO, geostationary orbit, all the way up to asteroid deflection and planetary defense. And after that, relativistic drives capable of interstellar drive is the goal. There's lots of questions still to be answered, of course, like what happens when a vehicle at near light speed hits a tiny meteorite? But those questions will be asked and answered as the system is developed and its capabilities grow. Obviously, deep in, has the potential to bring other stars into reach. This system could deliver probes to some of the more promising exoplanets and give humanity's first detailed look at other solar systems. If Deep In can be successfully scaled up, as Lubin says, then it will be a transformational technology. This is from Universe Today and it's on phys.org. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below. Thank you.